The Interplay Moscone Cup named after the pool legend Willy Moscone for this USA versus Europe challenge. It's the Ryder Cup of pool and it has Europe's pool stars hoping to match their golfing counterparts who celebrated at Oak Hills earlier this year. The fans already sense they'll be seeing a big moment in sporting history made here at the Festival Hall in Basildon. They're beginning to celebrate already. Last time out, world champion Oliver Ortman beat the American captain Bobby Hunter. Europe's skipper notching up the seventh win in a row, coming from 10-8 down for Europe. The score now then, 15-10 to Europe. First team to 16 points will win the trophy. Europe with one hand on the cup. Dramatic moment to join Alan Hughes. And now with Europe needing just one match to win the title, we come to a doubles affair in the Interplay Moscone Cup. Introducing first two of the American giants to do battle, the bites of John the Bull de Toro and the rapid fingers of machine gun Lou Butara. European opponents, the Hurricane and the Whirlwind, together they make the monsoon pairing of Alex Higgins and Jimmy White. <laughs> for the planted early nine balls like the boys had been leaving last time they were out. Jimmy looks like he's taken the lag, no bother, Jimmy. And what a fitting script this is. It was White and Higgins that turned it all around last evening. And here they are back on center stage with a chance for the winning point. Well, Alex almost choked his fag and right. let his cue there because he's pumped up for this one. Jimmy gets first crack of the pack. Not a very auspicious start though. Looks as though it's stuck up for John DeToro. You think, Jim? Not much body movement there. 18.8 speed rating and it's the bull. Yeah, one has to say that uh, Steve Davis, I think, has got the best 
body smash of these three, Higgins and White. Haven't quite got that same transference of power on the break, but uh, once they get in amongst the balls, the fun and game start. The oh. two ball, the blue ball on right now, and then it's the red three, but he may have to double it. That's what he's looking at here. He's going to double the three back to the middle pocket. He's standing nearest. And he's bumped out the purple four. Slice it in the corner and back up for the orange five. And in case you haven't sussed yet, but I'm sure most of your aficionados have, the Americans have got to win them all through to the end now. One more game. Barney Rubble in it goes, but one more game to Europe and they take the Moscone Cup from the Americans. Any particular difficulty in any area here, any angle, Jim? He's done the hard work. John DeToro and Lou Butera. The Americans' backs up against the wall now. The orange five, the ball on. Then the green six, and he's got a perfect angle to come over to it. Back. Alex again bending Jimmy's ear. Jimmy always seems to find a little humor in it. What a pairing they are. That's right. <laughs> Well, I don't know if they've got a probation officer, or not, but they certainly look like they could be in a list of the usual suspects, them two. Oh, there's something mafiosi looking, I mean, in the nicest sense about John de Toro. Yeah. I wouldn't swipe his mid balls in Little Italy, that's for sure. He's a little nervous. Yeah, playing piano on the rail. Oh, he missed it! He, oh. he looked oh, nervous. Yeah, nice. Jim picked it up straight away. Brilliant, Jim. Just looked edgy. And now the hurricane blows to the table. He's going to try and double this nine, possibly up in the top right. Or the other option to slice it into the corner. Uh, Alex's hairdresser takes Sundays off. It's there. Yes, we got him and tried the double instead. He got the finish. Cut you love it. See? Higgins and White Road Show. atmosphere out there and have a look at this it was either going to be the double or the fine clip he elected the fine clip and down it went Alex wants to finish it right here and I think Alex means it seriously I think what he's got on the ball Alex is a milkshake Ball in hand and a plant, it's all happening here. So this could be two, this could be another act straight away, Jim. The one already gone. The Hurricanes in again. The two onto the nine, and you're looking at 2 0 in the opening set. Cue. It's all happening here in Basildon. And 
they're all loving it. So's the whirlwind, and so are we. And so's the opposition. Just look at the two Americans. Gobsmacked, but taking it well. This is probably the only time in his life that Jimmy White's felt down to earth. Go for it, Higgins. Well, he is so far. Two brilliant nines has staked the Europeans to a 2-0 lead here in the opening set. In a game that could take the Moscone Cup. They will go bananas if Alex gets one, two, or three balls from the break. He's playing the ground. Borrowed Q. The red almost squiggled its way there. Hard luck, Jimmy says. But it's the machine gun at the table now. Good old Lou. Taking the George Burns route. If the crowd ain't laughing, make him laugh. So Lou's formed his own fan club of one. Wouldn't have worried if that had gone in. You're allowed to make it once you made the gone. And this looks like a brilliant shot. Magic! And there is a plant on the purple four and nine. So Lou is going to reply in kind. The four onto the nine. It's there. And the Americans have pulled one back, and Lou's trying to wind him up. And they're buzzing here in Basildon. The whirlwind and the hurricane have staked Europe to a two to one lead. And are they popular here? Thank or you, ladies what? and gentlemen. America to break. Men and four. women, Let's boy start. and girl alike. They've all come to see the pairing of Jimmy White and Alex Higgins. And they're playing the machine gun Lubitera and the bull John DeToro. Down a cush. Two's over the bag. Uh, and Alex drinking something that I think's milk. <laughs> <laughs> the red three into the middle. Right middle pot that. Purple four. Just needs a little angle for the orange five. A little more angle than he would have liked, but he should still get this. Is he hard enough for the seven? Well, if he plays this fast when he's 58, Jim, what, what did he do when he was 18? Roller skates. Still plenty of wheels on the American wagon. Play of the trout. And draw appreciative grins from the Dynamite Twins. Break it out by Lou. Timing couldn't have been better. They were on the edge. Now they pull back to 2-2 in this opening set. And it's up to Jimmy and Alex now to try and pull the momentum back on the European side. As Jack and the boys would say, I go wild. Yes, See what Jim how the break flourishes. I think the orange is in as well. Three down. Rock and rail from Jimbo. Let pleased. Cast this rack. Take the first set. And if they win this game, Europe takes the Moscone Cup. Attempting the long two. It's the blue one. It's two two, you gotta go two clear. 
the one, three, and the five off the break to Jim. But had a rush of blood to the wrist. Which pocket here, Jim, do you fancy? Left, right? Yeah. And the four, the purple four. Top left. Is the next ball on. But he's elected oh. to play safe. It looks like he's done a pretty good job of it as well, Sid. Yep. And John Dottaro has got a voice like sandstone soaked in brimstone. Oh, and you can hear him muttering to Lou, but that'll find him up. Unbelievable shot from Higgins. Just have a look at this. Alex doing the best he can to pull out of his bag of tricks. Even Euclid couldn't work that one out. Possibility of doubling this into the right-hand middle. He's having a look. Maybe difficult to get that cue ball away from the corner pocket if he tries that. He's got hampered bridging over the nine. That was my impression of Terry Griffiths. <laughs> Alex having the crowd and the Americans in tux. But Jim isn't too sure. Get your mind on the table and your hand on the cue, Alex. It's in. It is just before the click. Well, this boy walks a very thin wire. These are the moments that Alex thrives for. He's in full flow. He's playing to the crowd. The green six. He's got a clip into the left-hand corner. Come around the angles. Might be looking to knock it into the right-hand corner. More difficult. On the sort of side he's applying, I think that's the shot, Jim. Look to me, up. Sid. Look to me like he could have knocked that in the left and come around the angles and still yeah, finished on the seven. The right, that was the way. Alex doesn't have a lot of experience playing nine ball. The man at the table now is 58 years worth. the Americans, three rocks to two up. Open set. Lou showing that there's entertainers both sides of the big pond. The Americans know full well they can't afford to lose this one. They want to keep their hopes alive by retaining the Moscone Cup. And if they're going to do it, They've got to win this match first. And it starts with each rack and each set, one at a time. So it's John the Bull de Toro. To say, looks a tough guy, but he's cuddly as a cat. Till match and the blue pop. Yellow one for Jim. Now, Alex's turn. What do you say to the lies? <laughs> right now, the balls are a little bit scrappy. Alex is going to take his time, come over and have a look at the two ball. That's the blue one down here. You can see the yellow one is very straight into this corner pocket but obviously positioned on the two, not very easy. Possibility of playing the right-hand edge of the yellow as we look and take the cue ball in behind a number of balls over on the top side of the table as we see it on our screen, but it looks like he's gonna play the, the yellow up to the corner. How oh, did he work that one out? 
It's a notebook. I'm in a race. And now he's got a chance to try and lay a real good snooker on both John DeTaro and Lou Butera. But he's going after it wholeheartedly, totally aggressive. It's uh, uh, double H that. That's one he might live to regret. Yeah, because the Americans take this rack, take the set. Dares wins, and he don't, don't. Well, he snookered Jimmy. I wonder if he can get through to the side cushion. He's having a look at it right now. If he can get in there, he may even be able to pot this four ball. Got to get between the five uh -oh. and the cushion. It's very close. He's touched the white. Ball in hand then. Curtains, I think, on the set should be. The rule is any kind of foul, you're giving the ball to place any way you like. Not like an eight ball, where you go in the D or in some schools behind the head string, you replace it at any angle you like anywhere on the pitch. Looking for the orange in the middle. The green sixth and the brown seven. <laughs> Ooh. Very nervous, John DeToro. He's pacing, he's worried. He's been pacing the hotel grounds. Great shot. Could have done without that little flick. Well, he'd have been on the seven had he not touched it. But now, I wonder if he's looking to run this straight up the cushion. Top left. It's running off. Well, Lou Butera certainly playing with a lot of confidence right now. And his turn to put America 1 0 ahead. Need to get it onto the rail and shoot. Move on. Set! First set to the. by 15 points to 10. Just one more point needed by the Europeans. A possibility of six more matches. The Americans have to win every one. So Alex makes a bit of a mess of the lag first shots. First set. Sorry, first wrap. Second set. Just what he wanted. One in. And 18 point six. Seen. We've seen a lot harder breaks, Sid. And the blue two. The blue two. Big it's chance. The nine. Two under the nine. This could be blitz straight away. Yeah. Been looking nervous, so no bother with that. Plant. Even a nervous player could have got that one. Not me. <laughs> He's taking the first rack of the second set. It's nice when the balls run like that, but you've still got to knock them in. It was a good one. And a 
again here. The winning shot in the second set, the opening rack. No problems for John the Bull de Toro. He's got to try and relax a little bit, though. As you said, Sid, pacing in the hotel room, very nervous. Second, rack. second set. Alex Higgins now breaking off. And the ideal order of the day for him, get a ball off the break. I was talking to Lou here about his uh, plans for later life. Uh, he's uh, setting up in Vegas, he tells me. Setting up a pool room. Well, tell you one thing, Sid, he can weave stories with the best of them. But right now, he's looking at the one ball, the blue two, the red three, purple four. Those are the order of the first four balls. Uh, he was telling us some stories in the players' room along with Tennessee Tarzan, Mike Massey, and boy, these two have put the road miles in. They've got some stories. And he's going to use the spider, is it? This is a, I'm sure, the swan neck they don't have in America, but maybe they will have soon. Good shot from Lou. Possibility the two onto the green here for a plant into the middle. Yeah, clear out of sequence provided you contact the low ball. Doesn't seem too happy, Jim. He's looking still at the blue two. Off the five. It's there. Nice shot. Now the red three, and then back for the purple four. <clears throat> Plays with a chalk in his hands. Yeah. Saves time, gonna get it. He's gonna pass through, is he? Oh, no, has he? I think the he's orange stops it. gonna have to plant the four onto the five here. Big shot, real crucial moment. In the second set here. And remember, if Alex can take this game, and the Stanley Cup goes to Europe. <laughs> Purple down. He needs to get position now. After the orange. Screw back a bit. For the brown, and a little bit of cushion. Perfectly judged. Just wants a little angle on the black to come off the cushion for the nine. This looks pretty elementary right now. And listen to the crowd. They're telling you who won that one. White and Higgins pull back on level terms. It's 1-1 in the second set. Yep, the Americans very proficient. If John DeToro's nerves can calm down, the signs of that happening. They're a very powerful combination. So Jimmy and Alex might have to raise their game considerably. Set down. The whirlwind and the hurricane. Have just tied it up at 1-1 in the second set. The machine gun breaks off, and nothing going in. Vital, vital time in the Moscone Cup. Its fate could be decided in a matter of minutes because the Americans have to win this game. Europe leading 15-10, first to 16, takes the silverware. Jimmy just knocking in the yellow one, has to come back down the table. If he could have got to the other side, the two and the nine could have been planted, but that's the ball on the two. After that, the red three. Now he's gonna come and have a look just to see what he wants to do. Slice this in with the rest. So 
Yes, it is. And now the red three, the ball on. It's this one here, and then he's got to get back for the four ball. Just beside the orange five. Yeah, and getting the power here. Well, you have to have power, but if you hit them hard, they sometimes bubble in the jaws. Just tried to pinch the pocket a bit there. Sometimes they're so big, you feel that you can create angle where there isn't any. Which Toro went up the options here then. He's having a look. He can get through to it, but difficult to get position onto the four. Yeah, especially as well looked to the pocket is blocked by the orange. That's it. He's got a great, great <laughs> shot from John DeToro. The four into the bottom right-hand corner. Orange five, and then the green six. No problem. Onto the cush and back gently for the brown. Pretty straightforward now for John, the Bull de Toro, as the hurricane looks on. Yeah, a leprechaun he has on the alert. I hope I don't miss That's this my one. Partner. John can still see the funny side. It was a good out from John. And that's uh, one ruck possibly away from saving the overall match. So Alex and Jimmy can't afford to let this rack slip. Crowd hoping Jim gets at least one, two or three in here. Jimmy could. Could be in the gravy here. Be very happy with that break, Sid. Just knocked the two in. Now it's the red three. But he snookered himself behind the six ball. Bit careless. Red three, the ball on. He made the one on the break and just knocked the two in. But that was a bit careless from White. With the Americans needing just one more rack, this is dangerous waters. Yes. Oh, what a shot! Tremendous shot from White. <laughs> Flew into the corner pocket to be able to eye where the shot on the rail was and to make that firm and slick contact magic. Bad news. The four ball on. As Jimmy looks on, just telling Alex what he was trying. The orange five. Looks like a sitter as well. And the American's very nervous, but in the last rack, he saw his adrenaline going. He could run out to the nine quite easily here. But take this game. Brown seven to follow. He just wants to go up for the black eight. The Americans looking like stopping the rot. They've lost seven matches in a row.
this and nine. Here it is. This to bring it back to 15 11. He makes it, and it's the Americans pulling one back. Well, the Glitter Twins couldn't quite do it. On to Tom Storm against Dallas West now. First set, the American leading by one wreck to nil. Dallas West taking the opening rack of the opening set. The Americans went down seven in a row when White and Higgins yanked the momentum away from them. And now with White and Higgins going down, are the Americans going to come back? The second rack, American to break. The razor shot part that is symptomatic of a pool player. Enough. Wow. So, ball in hand after that scratch. Got to control that white ball. He's got a vulpine look about him, it's Dallas. So here he goes, trying to settle down. The two inch blow along the bottom here. Two feet to the pocket. Now the long red top right. This match, if Storm can take it, the Europeans win the Moscone Cup. Brilliant position on the purple, and the rest are looking sweet. Straight over for the orange in the middle, Jim. Or the long one, good shot. Orange into the middle. Green into the center. Brown seven. Green the ball on right now. After that, it's going to be the seven. Nicely round for the brown. Tom, it must be said, Sid has really done his share as a part of this important European wheel. Yes, yeah, screws back nicely for the black. It keeps rolling on. Yeah, we've got a wheel of gold stars on a background Asia. Us European lads, now we're in, or are we? What a piece! <laughs> this If he can change, those break. times have changed. <laughs> Tom Storm breaking off here for Europe. Got the five ball. Yellow one is available. Repeat the rules if you've just come in from the break. If the nine goes down, you've won that rack. If any of the other balls go down, you're in play, and you then proceed to start with the lowest ball off. In this, this case, the one ball, Sid, and after that, it's going to be the two. 
then the red three. I don't think that yellow, he thought the yellow would go past the brown and it didn't. Certainly hasn't worked out too bad, but you know, the lay of the balls, always something these players look at. Just have a look where that nine ball is. Right over the corner pocket. If they get to a ball that they can plant that in, believe me, they won't waste any time. Again, he's gotten away with it. Did he mean that? I don't think he did. Dirty pool, nice touch. You've got to hit a contact with a cushion after contact with the object ball. But when you leave the balls that close together, you're asking for trouble. Bit of a negative safety from Storm. It was just buying some time. Right now, what he's looking at is the one onto the six all the way up to the table trying to attack that nine ball. This would be a tall order, but it's gonna be a heave hole. Yeah, more zigzags and angles than on the Pepsi Max at Blackpool. Oh, and it just bumped too early off the cush. One more inch, and that'd have been a one nine plant. Dallas West was a runner-up to Oliver Ortman in the recently played Whirlpool Association World Championships. Can he billiard? Will he, will he billiard over? He's trying it, and it's in, Nelly! It's there! Billiard shot from Billiard shot! Great shot from Dallas West. He got the one as well. And now he's taking a 2-1 lead here in the opening set. And looking full value. The experience showing through. Seasoned campaigner, nerves of steel. The first set, the fourth rack, America to break. And this rack decide the first set. Good break from Dallas West. Nicely controlled. Not the most powerful break you're going to see, but control another aspect. And he got the one in the middle. So this very thin, sort of 25% ball contact. The red three, the next ball on. Surely he's not going to try. This is this plant. Well, could. No, straight red. Now the purple four. And then the orange five. And the green six right there, Sid. This. All looks very straightforward. Yeah, not, not, not ominous. The Americans need, desperately need this game to be much alive. There's nobody here wants to go home. <laughs> right, he's... Uh, Got to give himself about a foot from the other cushion here. 
goes over, doesn't mind a bump out. Just a roll up for this nine and hit the set. The rack the Good course. performance from Dallas West. He's starting to show a little bit of form. It's 3-1 to the Americans. They take the first set. Dallas West found some of his world championship form. He made the final in Taiwan recently. And uh, he's uh, given Sweden Storm a bit of a pezzling at the moment. And uh, mind the Americans can do with all the pezzling that they can dish out. In just this nine, and he'll take the opening rack in the second set. America. He's really looking good. And what a feather in it in his cap it would be if he could oust Tom Storm. Not the sort of bloke to take the water in, as we say in Geordie Land. He will have no nerves at the moment. Uh, the tension is shown in the Swede. And it's 15 11 to Europe. One more game, and they take the Moscone Cup from the Americans, who won it a year ago. Second set, you're up to red. Wow. No hide in place for the white, and no look for Stoom. Cue ball, ball in hand. Dallas West comes to the table. He's already worked out the pattern that he wants to try and attack these balls in his mind. He's just knocked in the yellow one. Now he's looking at the two ball and a good positional shot. Required to get to the red three. Nice loop bridge. A brilliant shot along the rail from Dallas. Comes from uh, the John Travolta School of Hairdressing. He's going to have a real good look at this four ball because the nine in very close proximity to the pocket. So this is a, is he trying to bully it on? Could be just playing the four straight in. Yep. No need to think fancy. If plain does it. Applies to pool as well as sailing. Finish line for the Europeans is well within sight. But only how many times have we seen how difficult that last one to win can be? <laughs> Dallas West starting to push that finish line further away. The Americans 2-0 ahead in the second set. Just one more rack.
either one goes easy here and he should be on the blue too no bother that's right said again good control break by dallas taking back some of the power He's looking now at the two ball, then up for the red three. Four and five already off the table, so he's gonna be looking at the green six after this. Red in the middle of the pocket, the green. It's straight. The ball's down. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, the brown is dollied up. So left. And the crowd, no. The, the Americans on the go again after seven blob matches. Bad shot from Dallas West there. He's going to have to try and double the black. And, and Tom the Storm. Double one of the real percentage shots negative percentage shots in oh. pool could be a chance for tom and again <laughs> tom acknowledges a good shot from dallas west this nine ball to take back another point <laughs> so a good old in beats a good young in here at basildon Liberty's flame has been flickering and flackering for a while. But the Americans on the recovery road. They're not yet to the Freedom Trail. Europe need one more game.